Welcome back to the pulse-pounding world of Karen Go Burr, your front row seat to the most jaw-dropping Karen escapades. In today's wild compilation, we've got a drunk driver who ignores a bystander's warnings and rams into another car, a hammer-wielding Karen taking car vandalism to a whole new level only to get a taste of her own medicine, and a group of teens at a park facing a full-on tantrum from a male Karen and his equally irate mother for simply standing on a bench. Let's get into it. Welcome to another jaw-dropping edition of Urbaners Gone Wild, where we witness a young guy testing his camera, only to be ambushed by a raging boomer. What was that? Well, you're gonna make I contact. You, you want to make contact with me, right? I'm asking you a question. You can ask me a question. What are you doing taking pictures of our buses? I don't have to disclose that. We don't need you taking pictures of yeah, our buses. I, I, I know you got all when polite refusals ignite Boomer Fury, the scene escalates into a phone-throwing fiasco. But our young hero has a secret weapon, pepper spray. I, don't I know you got all Now. <laughs> Give me my <laughs> Look it. Look it. Threw my <laughs> phone. Yeah, I threw it. Come near me again, I'm a pep <laughs> again. I'm gonna fuck up, dude. Get the <laughs> You don't tell me what to do. Yeah, I do. No, you don't. I'm gonna again. He's trying to wet me with the hose. Yes, I did. I was just out here filming, practicing my right. Mm -hmm. Walked over there, walked this way. This guy decides to come and. I okay. didn't tell him anything wrong, just tell him I can't disclose any information. Okay. So I've seen your signature here, saying that what you're saying is all true and correct. In the end, this unnecessary chaos serves up a fitting lesson. Rude and obnoxious behavior comes with a spicy price. These outrageous encounters only get better, or worse, as we step onto the next one, where we have an adult woman throwing a fit when her daughter's order goes AWOL. Ninja Diva grabs the money, storms out, and then circles back to unleash more abuse. Just when you thought it couldn't get any worse, her unnecessary tirade proves otherwise. Next, we come face to face with a Momzilla invasion at a nail salon. This woman storms in, accusing the nail tech of not escorting her daughter home after doing her nails, because apparently, parenting is his job now. Hey, excuse me, are you the one that did my daughter's nails the other day? Um, uh, which one? The little girl. The one that came by herself? Uh, yeah. At the salon? Yeah. Yes, I did. Why? Why did you allow her to walk home by herself? That's not my responsibility. She walked to the salon by <laughs> herself. You let her walk to the salon by herself because you guys want some alone time. The stunned nail tech claps back, pointing out the obvious. Parents should probably take responsibility for their own kids. But wait, there's more. No, you could have taken her home. No, that's not my responsibility. That's that's a liability. I'm, I'm not allowed to take anybody home. I'm going to press charges on you. You allowed my daughter to go home by herself walking. You put her life in danger. And then the service that you charged her for $40, that wasn't even worth it. Why did you take her money? She gave me her money and I gave it back to her. And plus, press charge on me? I should call UPS on you for not raising your children the right way and letting them roaming around the street at a young age like that because you guys want some alone time alone time no no that wasn't the that wasn't the case she was getting her nails done you charged her 40 dollars. she did not come home with the 40 dollars. where is the money 
Well, I'm not giving back her money because you're not with the, your daughter right now, so I don't know who you are. But on top of that, you should be ashamed as a parent for letting your kids go to the nail salon by herself because you guys want to get busy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to press charges on you, and in well, fact, I have, I'm gonna involve. Well, the, I'm gonna the call. Labor law I'm gonna well. call the UPS on you. Oh. This mom's clueless tirade reaches new heights of ridiculousness, proving she doesn't even know the P of parenting. Buckle up for the next wild ride, where we see a drunk driver who's determined to defy common sense. Ignoring a bystander's warning, he stumbles into his car and promptly rams another vehicle. What? You're just gonna hit her later. Uh. Nah, and you seem drunk too. You shouldn't even be driving. Right, huh? <laughs> backed up with the quickness too. He's about to hit her car again. He's The furious driver demands insurance info, but our boozy hero, fueled by rage and stupidity, decides to take matters into his own hands. Hey, are you kidding me? Hey, girl, girl, just back your car up, girl. Girl, it's not worth it. Just let the cop deal with it. He's on crystal meth. It's, it's I know. Beware, this drunk menace stumbles towards the store, ready to cause even more damage. Up next, a woman pulls a vanishing act after her nail appointment, leaving the salon owner chasing after her payment. Instead of settling up, she casually waves off the owner and heads to a pizzeria, too busy ordering to care about her unpaid bill. Ma'am, you need to come back and pay. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna have to post you on the internet. Like, I'm serious. You need to come back and pay. Okay. You cannot get served and walk out my shop I, like that. No, ma'am. Okay. I can okay. fix okay. your nail. Okay. No, no. You're gonna have to come back and pay. Okay. I'm gonna post you on the internet. I'm serious. Okay. You're stealing from my business. No, I'm not stealing from your business. Yeah, so why didn't you pay? I, I, why didn't you pay when you walk out I my shop? Why didn't you pay? I told you why when I left. No, I don't trust you. You need to come back and pay. Or I'm going to post you up. And Elgin needs more. It's only $20, $30 to pay to do the right thing. You get served and you walk out. I said, okay, but I'm not going to talk to you here. because this is No, you did not talk to me at my business. I asked you nicely to pay. I was polite to you. You walk out. And you think I'm not going to follow you. This lady gets served in my business and she should walk out. And see over here ordering pizza. This spectacle of entitlement and theft is a glaring example of how some people's standards and respect for others can sink to new lows. Next, a group of teens unwinding at a veterans park across from some houses suddenly face a full-on tantrum from a man and his equally irate mother. Their crime? Standing on a bench. Don't play because I don't care who This once peaceful park transforms into a stage for absurdity and aggression. Oh my god! What? Holy sh! What are you gonna do? I'm not gonna f I'll tell you, little girl. Amber, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. All you have to do is stop f***ing disrespecting the park, right? Say yes, we won't disrespect it. I got you, bro. Good. Got you, bro. Say, no say no more. Say no more. Say no more. Say no more. Curse at her again. Say no more. Curse at her again. I don't care who the f*** you are. Curse at her again. We got say you. Say no more. Come on, huh?
The only way to cool these two bulls down is to call the cops, who might need to place this mother-son combo into a cage for loonies with a permanent ban from public spaces. This next parking spot showdown will make us question basic common sense. Watch as two grown men lock horns over the ultimate claim to his parking spot. One argues that because his daughter was guarding the spot, it's theirs. Never mind that a human isn't a car. The bystanders are in for a treat, enjoying the drama and wondering how two adults can turn a simple spot into a full-blown soap opera. Strap in for a police drama that's bound to leave us shaking our heads. Watch as a normal guy, simply waiting for a friend, faces off against a cop who's acting like a tyrant. So all I'm asking you is, what are you doing here? What I'm doing isn't relevant. It is relevant. Okay. Okay, come on, stand up for me. For what? Come on, just stand up. Why are you touching me, sir? Stand up, come over here. Why are you touching me? You have ID on you? I do have ID. Okay, let me see your ID. Sir, I'm not, I'm not okay. required to produce ID unless I'm being suspected of committing a crime. I don't understand how sitting here, waiting because for... all I'm trying to do is communicate with you and, I, and find out what you're doing here. I'm, I told you, sir, I'm waiting for a friend. Okay, but why are you here? Because I'm waiting for a friend. Okay, not good enough. How is that not good enough, sir? I've answered your question. Hey, can you not let them beat me at Cedar Bluff and Rock Rock, please? I got an uncoop citizen. I don't understand, again, how I'm uncooperative. I've answered you're your question. You're not questions. answering the ample, simple yeah, questions that I'm asking you. Not I've already answered your question, no, you sir. Didn't, you didn't. You, don't, you did not tell me why you're here. A guy and a, a young kid down here that are refusing to give me any information and apparently don't have any reason to be here. So come on down here for me. Sir, I've given you a reason why I'm here. No. No, you know what it is? You're just being a jerk. I'm not being a you jerk, being sir. A jerk, standing up for my rights isn't being a jerk. It's not standing up for your rights. Sir, it absolutely It's cooperating is. with me to keep the community safe, to tell me why you're here and why you you don't belong here. I, how do you know that I don't belong here, sir? That's what I'm asking you. I've already given you an explanation no, of why I'm here. Sitting here waiting for your friend is not a good enough answer. So sitting... You can't tell me... Where, you have a car here? It's, that's not relevant, sir. Okay, that's the problem we're having. You're totally uncooperative. It's not uncooperative, it sir. Uncooperative. When the man questions the cop's assumptions, things get even more absurd, with the cop calling for backup and labeling him a troublemaker. Okay, so then okay. what is the problem? Because it just goes to show you that you're a troublemaker. It's not a troublemaker, sir. I've never been arrested. Because, I've never been in really, trouble in my life. You're setting a very poor example for this young kid right here. To teach yeah. my son how to stand up for his rights? It's not about standing up for your rights. Sure it is. It's about standing up for the community. My job is to keep the community safe. And I applaud and you for trying to do your you're job. You're giving me zero information of why I've you're here. I've given you information, you don't sir. Live here, right? Do you know that I don't live here? No, but I've asked for your ID and you won't give it to me. Because I'm not obligated okay. to give you my then ID, this sir. This is the issue we're having. Sir, I'm not There's obligated. I'm not saying you're obligated. Okay, so then. We've run into an issue here where you're being uncooperative, not giving me the information I'm asking. I've answered every question okay. you have, sir. Well, when I'm just trying to simply do my job and you want to be disrespectful. I wasn't disrespectful okay, at all. I've called you, sir. I've if been you, very you respectful. You want to give me the information I'm looking for. I've answered every question. No, you don't. Sure. I'm not obligated to identify myself okay. unless I'm being detained for okay, a crime. Well, you may be here shortly. If it's For what? If it's been Am I detained right now? No, you're not. Okay, son, let's go. Okay. Nate, the get up. Hey, good luck in the future, young man. Yeah, it's great. Nate, example. let's go. After enduring this incompetence, the man decides enough is enough, walking away from a cop clearly unfit for public service. Up next, a so-called vet tech uses her expertise to call animal control on her neighbor's beloved five-year-old dog, branding it a menace without a shred of evidence. Hey there. I'm your new neighbor. Okay. I'm letting you know I did call animal control about your dog. They're gonna come by, so you need to have like the rabies records, vaccine records. 
I'm, I'm a vet tech, that's why. I work at the emergency hospital, that's why they're coming today, because I called them and they know me. So I know, okay. I, I know what I'm talking about, girl. Like, I'm not trying to be rude to you. Well, what, do you, what do you advise we do then, since you're a vet tech? I think you should be, like, I think you should. I this self-righteous vet tech smugly declares the dog should be euthanized, citing fictional neighborhood warnings and her own inflated sense of authority. I mean, I really the can't. thing is, is if we rehome a five-year-old dog that's aggressive, he's just going to go after home after home after home no, until he gets euthanized. No, they're going to euthanize him. Yeah. Exactly. They're yeah, going to put him down. should do. No offense. That dog isn't right, dude. And my dog, like, why should I have to... And my very here, like, she's got a little kitten. She goes, I can't let Gabe out because of these dogs. And we'll control the... I just wanted to, like, come by. I'm worried. I'm worried for my dog. I'm worried for this little boy. I, that's what I think. And it's just so unsafe. And everyone who lives down here, you know what they've said to me? They say, be really careful around that house because of that dog. Be really careful. Don't go over there. You know? And because I have the, like, authority to do so, I did. I called. <laughs> so they'll be here later today. Okay. Yeah, and they're going to see him and see how he is, and I don't know what they're going to do, which is I know what you want, but I'm not going to give up on it. I'm going to keep fighting you for that dog because it's wrong what he's doing. All right, I get it. I'm going to go back in my house now, though. It's appalling as this vet tech's chilling disregard for both animal and human decency reaches new heights of arrogance. This next backyard brawl is of epic proportions as two women duke it out over construction chaos. Call the police. Call the police. That's fine. Call the police. Get oh. out of my yard. We're this in the yard. yard ends here. No. Get out of my yard. You can't do this. Hey, you cannot do this unless you have a court order. They already told you that, Leanne. No. They I already have... told you that. They've been already... here a hundred times. Y'all are in the middle of a crime. I'm not lying. The cops yeah. said that they have, she has to take me to court. I have. And why didn't Call they tell me when you I told the them we were here. coming? Yeah. Settled, okay? ah! As construction workers and kids watch in stun fascination, one lady tears down installed poles, declaring no permit, no peace. Don't hey. touch. Hey. Don't touch. Girl, Don't you better touch. back the f up. Get Don't out of my touch. yard. Don't touch. Get out of my yard. Get it out of my f***ing yard. What are you guys doing? You don't have a permit to do this? Yes, I do. Where is it? It's approved from the city. I'll Where is it? it? Where's the judge's permit? Because you know damn good and well you have to take this to a judge. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Offense? Yes, because she has a problem with the property line. She has to take it to no, a judge. I don't. That's I why the police... Here will... here I know. I understand here. that. And y'all don't understand what you've gotten yourself into. I'm not a bad guy. I'm not trying to keep her from her... City We've knows, lived in this house for 40 knows. years. Step up, okay. Don't f***ing tell me what to do in my own backyard. Is Don't f***ing tell me what to do in my own backyard. Where's Grandpa? I called him too. Did you call the police yet? No. no I will. Do shit. I will. Go ahead. This clash of wills becomes a full-blown spectacle of property disputes and neighborhood theatrics. Who's the villain here? You decide. Next, a lady's refusal to vacate an emergency row seat sparks a cabin-wide showdown. Just watch. They can't, they want to be together, just keep them together, find them two open seats. There's two right here, I said, right. she won't Put them right there. Yeah. Hmm? Can you guys go to right here? Because my seat is 32. Hmm? I can move out, I don't want to move down. Ma'am, 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 you have to understand, there was somebody who was placed in the exit row, that we had to move out of the exit row to your seats. Okay, hold on, to your seats. So, I can't, they want us to sit together too, so I can't accommodate you and your son. So we have two seats, just so two rows behind you. If you sit there, it'd be fine. Just when asked to move just two rows back to make room for someone more qualified for the emergency exit protocol, she kicks up a fuss worthy of a reality show. This gentleman, you're in his seats. Ma'am, you have to move, otherwise we gotta come have the talk to escort you in. So if you don't move back. Would you like to move, or would you like the cops to come escort you off? Uh, you're moving three rows back. With threats of deep planning and calling the authorities looming, this melodrama finally comes to a halt. And now, to cap off today's dose of human madness, meet the hammer-wielding hurricane who's taken car vandalism to a whole new level. And I got you on, on video that you're destroying my car. Thank you. Get the f out of this neighborhood. Yep. Cool, lady. Call, please. I'm calling. Don't worry. 
After being caught red-handed and verbally assaulting her neighbor, she stomps off only to return with a vengeance. Hi, I'm at one... Blade Avenue? Because my neighbor has two hammers in her goddamn hand and she's assaulting the car. She's destroying property. Let her, let them know that. And I have her on video. You got a problem? Is there a problem? You put your on me again, bitch. Tell me to go to back somewhere, bitch. Tell me. Tell me, bitch. Tell me. Now turn that fucking hole, bitch. But shut up your You understand me, bitch? I'm not. Karma comes back to bite her, she gets a taste of her own medicine. As we wrap up today, we've seen a young guy testing his camera ambushed by a raging boomer, and a woman exposed for walking out of a nail salon without paying. If you enjoyed these outrageous Karen encounters, make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more wild Karen encounters.